Good evening to all, with a special message for Aggies everywhere. While we wait for campus to reopen, please welcome student and alumni a cappella group, the Lounge Lizards. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Ooh. Without your love is one long sleepless night Let me show you, girl, that I know wrong from right Every street you walk on, I leave tear stains on the ground Following the girl, I didn't even want to run Let me tell you now Oh, baby, all I need is one more chance happened then and let me live again oh, baby, I was blind to let you go but now since I've seen you in his arms live from Davis California the Cal Aggie Alumni Association invites you to a night at the Aggies the 48th Annual UC Davis Alumni Awards. We now present your hosts, Dana Allen and Charles Melton. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dana Allen, Assistant Vice Chancellor for Alumni and Affiliate Relations and Executive Director of the Cal Aggie Alumni Association. I'm so excited that you're with us tonight to enjoy a night at the Aggies, where we honor and recognize the astounding accomplishments of our amazing alumni. We know the past year hasn't been quite exactly as we thought, and in a perfect world, we'd all be together and hearing the sounds of all of us clapping in unison. But we couldn't let the chance to do this recognition go by, so we hope that you enjoy the evening as much as we have enjoyed putting it together for you. Uh, I'm very excited now to introduce my co-host tonight, the Renaissance man, Charles Melton, who is the president of the Cal Aggie Alumni Association. Charles is a 2008 graduate of Davis with a degree in political science. He's had a number of leadership experiences here with the Alumni Association, including leading our group in Washington, D.C., and serving on the executive committee for many years before becoming our current president. And what I can tell you right now, alumni and supporters, you're in no better hands than his. So without further ado, Charles Melton. Thank you, Dana. 
Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here with you, and it's great to see you all here tonight as we honor a few of our most impressive and successful Aggie alumni. Now, as an undergraduate student, I will openly admit, I really did not know what Alumni Association was or really what it did. But that all changed when a friend of mine asked me to join the Student Alumni Association. Through being involved in the Cal Aggie Alumni Association as a student, I was able to get what I call early access to the perks of being an alumni. Career advice, great mentors, a vast network, and even a discount to Woodstock's Pizza, which is like gold to an undergraduate student. But most of all, the Alumni Association helped me land my first job and also find other Aggies. Through CAAA's Careers Network, I was fortunate enough to graduate with a job offer in hand. Two days after walking across the stage at graduation, I was on a plane flying to Washington, D.C. for my first job. Unfortunately, I only knew one person in Washington, D.C. So where did I turn? To my alumni association. Through CAAA's Washington, D.C. alumni group, I was able to get connected with alumni in D.C., build friendships, find cheap housing, which was not easy to come by, and also build my own support group. I remember the nights we'd get together and talk about living in D.C., what was happening in our newly started careers, and we'd all explain our annoyances every time we got an email from our bank notifying us that our account had dropped below $25. It was all part of our first out-of-college experience, and we got through the good and the tough together. And I think that is one of the most valuable benefits of our alumni association. No matter the situation you are in, yesterday, today, or tomorrow, there are UC Davis alumni around the world there to help and support you. And that is what's so wonderful about tonight, that tonight we get to honor some remarkable individuals who are helping others, supporting alumni, and also being stewards to our university. To kick off our program, let's turn our attention to the screens for a special message from Chancellor May. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here, and welcome to our 48th annual UC Davis Alumni Awards. 48 years, isn't that incredible? We sure know how to keep traditions going strong at UC Davis. And even though we're not going much further than the living room tonight, Lachelle and I weren't going to pass on the tradition of getting all dressed up for this important event. So wherever you're joining us from, whatever room of the house you're in, whether you've opted for black tie or black t-shirt, it's all good. Get ready to celebrate. Our alumni awards look very different this year, but we like to think of that as a good thing because this past year has been a year like no other. In the face of immense difficulty, our alumni, students, and staff have persevered and achieved some truly amazing things. Alumni like you have been on the front lines of COVID care as healthcare workers, medical researchers, advocates, and public leaders. This includes our very own California Surgeon General, UC Davis Medical School alumna, Nadine Burke Harris. I'm so proud to have a UC Davis alum at the helm of California's COVID response team. On campus, our public health partnership with the City of Davis, called Healthy Davis Together, gained national attention for keeping our community as safe as possible during the pandemic. We've also opened a vaccine clinic for employees and students. We're vaccinating thousands of people every day against COVID-19. Thanks to these huge advancements in the fight against the virus, we'll be able to host limited in-person commencement ceremonies this spring for the class of 2021. We're also planning for a return to in-person instruction in the fall, so we're heading in the right direction. And I have some more great news. This year's Give Day broke all previous records. Our community came together to raise more than $3.4 million for more than 5,600 gifts, many from alumni like you. That gets us closer than ever to our $2 billion campaign goal to raise funds that will further our efforts to build a better world and support the crucial work that UC Davis does every day. I couldn't be more grateful for the amazing community we have here at UC Davis, especially our outstanding alumni. Our success as Aggies extends far beyond campus. Tonight's award winners are alumni from near and far. They're all working to make the world a better place. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and join me in celebrating their incredible achievements, Aggie style. Thank you, Chancellor May. And we want to take a moment and acknowledge where all of our global Aggies are joining us from. We asked you early on to share with us where you're logging in, and we've seen people from right here in Davis, San Diego, Georgia. Charles, what are some of the places you're seeing there? I'm seeing Danville, uh, South Lake Tahoe, even Roseville. So all over the place. And if you haven't quite yet shared with us where you're joining us from, please take a moment to log it into the chat because we love knowing how we connect worldwide. 
Now, our first honoree is probably going to be somebody who has a special connection to the animals here on campus. So as we ask you maybe what some of your favorite UC Davis animal or your favorite pet stories are, I'd love to share with you a little bit about her. Kimberly Dodd is somebody who has more than just simple memories of the animals here at Davis. She is a recipient of our Young Alumna Award and while on-screen veterinarians like Dr. Loodle have the ability to speak with animals, they pale in comparison to her achievements. In true Aggie spirit, she safeguards the health of animals across the country and trains the next generation of veterinarians. And so I'm pleased to say the Young Alumna Award goes to Kimberly Dodd. Less than three years after her her degree, of veterinary medicine at UC Davis, Kimberly became the director of the Foreign Animal Disease Diagnostic Laboratory, which is part of the only facility in the United States where infectious foreign animal disease agents are studied. Kimberly is the first member of the Animal Plant Health Inspection Service to be appointed to the Senior Science and Technology Service by the Secretary of Agriculture. Not only is Kimberly an accomplished science herself, but she is dedicating to advancing the next generation of scientists as well. She developed and now directs a nationwide training program for graduate and veterinary students and serves as an invited recruiter for graduate students. She still actively works with UC Davis through collaborations with the California Animal Health and Food Safety Laboratory and One Health Institute. Her leadership inspires the next generation of scientists and we can't wait to see how Kimberly will continue to advance animal health care in the country. So joining us tonight from the East Coast, congratulations, Kimberly, on receiving the Young Alumna Award. Thank you. Thank you to the Cal Aggie Alumni Association for this tremendous honor. And especially thank you to the nominators, colleagues and mentors, all friends. I'm humbled by this recognition. There's no doubt that I received a world-class education at the top veterinary school. And as a graduate student, I was afforded once in a lifetime opportunities, studying coronaviruses in the, in the Netherlands and running diagnostics out of a makeshift lab in West Africa during the largest Ebola outbreak in history. Traveling the world, I saw firsthand the global impact and versatility of a career in veterinary medicine. At Davis, I was trained by faculty renowned by their scientific accomplishments, but more importantly, for their commitment to championing the next generation of veterinary scientists. Dr. Patty Pesavento was my first mentor, inspiring me with her belief that it's truly a privilege both to learn and to teach. Dr. Fern Tablin, director of the combined DVM PhD program, a role model in female leadership with deep compassion and humor that belie a no-nonsense demeanor. And Dr. Jim McLaughlin, who took me on as a graduate student after two years of heavy campaigning. He taught me to think strategically, to pause and celebrate even the smallest of accomplishments, and when all else fails, that God did create beer for a reason. I know I was extraordinarily lucky to have not one, but three mentors invest in me. Someone with an average GPA and at times a hazy vision for her future. And so in the many years since I first met them, I've been working hard to demonstrate to myself that I've earned the trust and confidence they had in me from the very beginning. And so this award is truly a reflection of Patty, Fern, and, um, and a celebration of their mentorship. For me, it marks a point where I can now look to the future as I start to shape my own career with a focus on mentoring, empowering, and championing the next generation. Thank you. Thank you, Kimberly. There's a lot of great comments in the chat about individuals with their experiences with animals, including dairy cows, uh, the cows at picnic day, Squirrels chasing each other in the quad to even ducks in the arboretum. Today, one of my favorite came ha happened with sheep uh, grazing by the Wyatt Pavilion. So a new experience for me today. A lot of great uh, animal traditions here at UC Davis. 
Our next category is the Emil M. Merak International Award for nominees who've led a distinguished career and advanced public services outside the United States. As we know, outside of Hollywood, there is a vast world of foreign films that teach us about different cultures. Much like these films, this category awards those who bring the world closer together through mutual respect and understanding. In the chat, feel free to jump in any places you may have studied abroad during your time here at Davis. Now, the winner of this year's award winner of our International Aggie Award is Scott Marysell. Over the last 36 years, Scott has tackled some of the world's most pressing challenges in his career in the Foreign Service. He served as ambassador to Indonesia in Myanmar, as well as Deputy Assistant Secretary of States for East Asian and Pacific Affairs. In his role, he provided the President and Secretary of State with expert guidance while building and maintaining strong relationships with other countries. He also played a crucial part in securing the renewed U.S.-Indonesia Comprehensive Partnership. Scott's driving force in everything he does is his commitment to equity, diversity, and to people. Throughout all of his work around the world and at UC Davis, education has always been a priority for Scott. He supports UC Davis faculty in advancing their research and strengthens UC Davis's ties with Indonesia and Myanmar, helping bring new students here from each country and welcoming meetings with senior university administrators. Please welcome the Emil M. Murak International Award winner, Scott Marysell. Well, thank you so much uh, for this award. It's, it's really an honor for me uh, to receive this award for international public service. I want to thank UC Davis, uh, Joanna Rogulska of UC Davis, who recommended me for the award, uh, Kenneth Holland, David Merrill, and Marie Pongestu, who I know supported that nomination. Um, I'd also like to thank my family, my wife, and my two wonderful daughters, as well as my father, uh, whose support has, has just been so critical and so wonderful um, uh, for so many years. Um, receiving an award from Davis for International Public Service means a lot to me. I started, uh, I grew up here in the San Francisco Bay Area, went to community college and then on to Davis where I got a great education, made a lot of good friends, had a wonderful time. And then from there, I was able to work as a US Foreign Service officer around the world for really the last 35 years, um, where my job really has been public service in terms of trying to win friends, uh, solve problems, uh, create and take advantage of opportunities to work together internationally with friends around the world, really just making friends for America around the world. And one of the things I've realized over the years is that while well, back in Davis, I studied theories about international relations and how countries work together. I realized over time that it's really all about people and relationships and how we treat people, whether it's at home or, or abroad, it's the same. Everybody wants to be treated well and, and just uh, how important it is, the impact that we as individuals can have uh, in our communities, but also all around the world. That really means a lot to me. Uh, now, after 35 years uh, as a diplomat, I'm, I'm nearing the end of my career. Uh, we'll probably be retiring from the State Department soon. I'm working now on a book, on writing a book on US uh, relations with Southeast Asia and looking forward to writing more in the future. And I hope to helping others who are just starting off get into the field of international public service. So once again, thank you so much for this wonderful award. I really appreciate it. Congratulations, Scott. And it's been wonderful to see so many of you put in the chat some of the places where you studied abroad during your time here at UC Davis. And now for our third award tonight. Sorry, guys, it's a Hollywood area code. Just one second. Oh. Hi. Hi, 
So it is Academy Award winner Clifford Stein, one of our very own Aggie alums. Um, excuse me a minute, I, I better go take this. Oh, hey, Dana. Thanks for taking my call. I was reading the bios of the award winners, and I'm honored and humbled to be able to offer my congratulations to my fellow alumni. They come from widely different fields, such as international diplomacy, animal health, public service, and high-tech entrepreneurship. But what they all have in common is giving back to their communities. This hunk of metal just acknowledges my contributions to the delinquency of today's youth. So congratulations to today's award winners. It's because of people like you and the rest of the UC Davis community that makes me proud to say I am an Aggie. Clifford Stein, everyone. Well, thank you for that. You know, he might have an Academy Award, but he doesn't have an Aggie yet. Uh, but with that, uh, Charles, I'm going to make sure my phone's off. Let me check. Your phone's off? Yes, it is. Okay. Thanks for reminder, Dana. <sighs> Moving back on track, our third category tonight is a Distinguished Achievement Award. The nominees for this category are pioneers in their field whose achievements throughout their lifetime sets them apart. You could say that the Force is with this year's winner, although it isn't the mystical Force of the Jedi. It's the Force of a visionary who is daring enough to lead the way in new adventures, Prim Jane. For 23 years, Prim Jane worked at Cisco Systems, where he was part of a team known as the heart, soul, and brain of Cisco, and who launched five successful startups. Prim and his team were responsible for every breakout product that Cisco has created in the last two decades. He is now the co-founder and CEO of Pensado Systems, a cloud and enterprise data center startup. In addition to his contributions to the tech world, Prem has shown extraordinary dedication to his alma mater and its students. In 2018, he established the Prem Chan Jane Family Presidential Chair in the College of Engineering to help foster a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship and to provide opportunities for students to provide in his entrepreneurial footsteps. While serving on the Computer Science Advisory Board, Prem advised students, providing them with hand-on mentorship and industry knowledge. And he is also a dedicated member of the Chancellor's Board of Advisors. His innovation, creativity, and leadership will have an impact on Silicon Valley and UC Davis for generations to come. So please join me in recognizing this year's Distinguished Achievement Award winner, Prim Jane. Thank you very much. I am very pleased, honored, and humbled to accept Cal Aggie Alumni Association Distinguished Achievement Award. I like to special thanks to Cal Aggie Alumni Association Board of Directors for selecting me. Also, I would like to salute to all the nominees which were nominated this year for similar awards by Cal Aggie Alumni Association. I salute them for their work and the incredible work which is they're doing. And I'm very happy to join them as a part of receiving this particular award. Also, I would like to thank all people who nominated me, supported me, and all the leadership team at UC Davis. And of course, my wife, Sandhya, and my family and friends who supported me throughout my life uh, with my passions. Also, this award means a lot to me as coming from UC Davis, recognizing my 44 years of work in the industry. And it really means a lot to me. And it's incredible that I'm given this particular award. And I will cherish it for all my life. Thank you very much.
It's wonderful hearing about all of our stars tonight. As Aggies, every, uh, as Aggies, excuse me, everyone here is worthy of being the lead in a movie. In fact, our final award for the evening goes to one of our brightest stars. In fact, some people even put in the comments who they thought would, might play them in movies. I'm seeing Julia Roberts, multiple people saying that. Um, Daniel Craig, Chris Pratt, who have you seen, Dana? Uh, Emma Stone, uh, Carol Burnett, fascinating choice from whoever that came from. Um, also, Jude Law for yourself, Charles, if I had to make a vote. I'll take it. All right, I'll take there it, you Dana. go. Thank you. Well, the final award this evening is the Aggie Service Award. And our winner is on a mission, but not the impossible Tom Cruise kind. She's on a mission to ensure that all students, regardless of their background, have an equal shot at an excellent education. This Aggie goes to Caroline Flores Cabillas. Caroline is a longtime supporter of UC Davis and the Latinx community, both here and throughout the state. After earning a degree in political science from UC Davis, Caroline managed, uh, held management and state positions in the California state government, where she fiercely advocated in equity in education. She served as chief of staff for the Board of Equalization and was a founding member of Cafe de California, the largest Latino employee advocacy association in the state. At UC Davis, she is a co-chair of the Chaconex Latinx Alumni Association and a former board member of the Cal Aggie Alumni Association Board of Directors. A champion of educational access opportunities, Caroline has established two endowments for student scholarships. Caroline also co-chairs the Cesar Chavez Youth Leadership Conference, drawing thousands of students, parents, and community leaders from around the state to UC Davis each year. She also serves on the board of the Sacramento Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and is a co-founder of Latino Economic Council of Sacramento. Congratulations, Caroline, on receiving the Aggie Service Award. Well, I'm very humbled and proud to receive this Alumni Service Award. Uh, it reflects uh, the value of uh, my work on the campus with my colleagues and friends to uh, raise funds for scholarships for students and also the community work that I do where uh, those same kind of funds are still needed very much. Um, my friends and I, however, are more used to raising funds to give awards rather than receiving an award. So this is a very um, different situation for me. When, uh, when I went to high school in Woodland, a very small town of about 15,000 people, I worked during the summer uh, sorting tomatoes, uh, picking apricots, cutting apricots, and other odd jobs. And um, I was encouraged to go to college, Heels Business College, in spite of my grades. So when I think back on my time in Woodland and through where I am today, I have so very many friends uh, to thank uh, for all of their support, their mentoring, and their encouragement of me uh, to get through UC Davis and go on to do the work that I've done to date. Uh, particularly, I want to thank my dad uh, for uh, his encouragement to get an education because he always said, once you get an education, no one can take that away from you. I also want to thank my daughter uh, for all of her support during this time. And, um, and I also want to thank uh, Tati and Laura Aguilera, whom I met at UC Davis and whom I've spent a lifetime uh, doing community work with. That's been so important uh, for me. I'm hoping that those who see this program and who know I received this award understand that I'm encouraging them to step out and get engaged in the work of raising funds to give back to students who are in need in scholarships or any other donations that they find appropriate. So I thank you very much again for this award. Congratulations, Caroline. And while Hollywood may have its own walk of fame, we here in Davis have our Bicycling Hall of Fame. And you may want to take a selfie with a star if you're walking down the streets of LA, but I think many more of us are a lot more excited when we can snap a quick pic with one of our world famous cows. So I believe here we in Davis, we have done a great night by bringing the Aggies to you. And so with that, what star wouldn't want one more turn to share a little bit about themselves and have that moment in the limelight? Tonight's recipients are truly accomplished, and we know you've already heard from them, 
but we thought you'd like to know a little bit more about them in their own words. The first word that pops into my mind when I think about Davis is learning and learning beyond the classroom of all the things that we uh, encounter in our environment. I'd say bicycles, Um, because the place has changed so much since I went, but the one thing that hasn't changed is everybody riding around on bicycles, which was one of my favorite things. I bought my bike in an auction. It was a 10-speed bike with a $10. That's all I paid for that bike. And I had it until I moved back here after I got my job. What word do I think of when I hear Davis? Home. The food that I survived on most at UC Davis was uh, from Dairy Queen across the railroad tracks from my apartment building. But then I had to really leave Davis and go to either Dixon or Sacramento for good Mexican food. You know, we ate a lot of, we ate a lot of rice aroni. I don't know why, but my roommates and I would make, we would just make rice aroni and then we'd throw stuff into it. So we had different dishes, but with the rice aroni, they just, I don't even know if they still make rice aroni, but that's the only time in my life I ever ate it. And I ate a lot of it. So there was a place right across the campus. It's called Beef Hater. It was a restaurant. And that was my favorite place if I'm not eating at home. What's my funniest memory from college? Well, it was joining the lacrosse team, and I then learned it was a very dangerous sport, so I got out of it and left the team. I just remember one time sitting outside of De Beers, um, a little bar, restaurant in downtown Davis, with several of our dogs at our feet, and all of a sudden, they went rushing out from under the table because my dog, who had learned how to chew through his leash, went ahead and set everyone else free simultaneously as well. Life of a vet student. (laughs) I would decorate my dorm room with brilliant colors and the greens, the reds, and the yellows, something to brighten the day just like flowers do. I probably would have had a couple of torn posters tacked up on the wall. That's probably it. Maybe a San Francisco Giants helmet hanging somewhere. Every time I visit Davis, I walk through the Arboretum, either as part of a morning exercise routine to go out for a run, or even just going walking from campus to the hotel. It's something I did throughout all my time at Davis, both as a vet school and a graduate student. Just walking through that area as a way to prepare for an exam or decompress or or just to get the dog out for a run. When I visit um, the campus, I always go to the CAAA office uh, where most of my work is associated with the great staff that are there. Been so lucky to work with them and they're always inviting. So it's like home away from home uh, when I'm on that campus. I would tell vet students not to be shy. Reach out to the faculty who you wanna learn more about. Take advantage of so many of the clubs and other opportunities that are available through the vet school. And also to engage in the community. Davis is a great place to be. Try to take the courses which you really have a passion for. Enjoy what you're doing. Trying to see how you're going to use it going forward. I wish I could say I was going to have to find a spot with all my other beautiful awards, but this one is really nice. It stands out, so I have to find a a special spot for it. I'll ask my wife um, for help. Um, She's really good at, at figuring out where things should go, but I'm thinking probably on top of the fireplace mantle or on top of our piano would be would be nice. I can show it off a little bit. The award is beautiful. I'm so looking forward to placing it in my living room. I have a stereo cabinet that used to be my grandmother's. On the top of it is where I put all of the things that mean a lot to me, some mementos for my travels, and now this award. This is the most important trophy I got after the pandemic. So it really means a lot to me. And uh, we will cherish it for our life. I'm going to display my award um, here at my family table with my uh, favorite family photos as well as my UC Davis uh, favorite photos. This is really awesome. This is a really nice award and I'm really proud of you, Dad. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> it's the only time we hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us tonight. We hope you were as inspired as we are by all of these incredible alumni. All of tonight's award winners represent the best in UC Davis. As we, tru- as we are truly proud of your accomplishments and appreciate your continued efforts to support the campus and our community. 
I'd like to thank tonight's sponsors whose support made our show possible. I'd like to thank our Gold Level sponsors, the UC Davis Foundation and Graduate Studies, and our Silver Level sponsor, Global Affairs. I would also like to thank our wine and sparkling sponsors from UC Davis alumni vintner, Hugh Davies of Shramsburg and Davies Vineyards. Also, I wanna thank Talent Entertainment and the alumni and affiliate relations staff for all their work this evening. I'd also like to recognize those who took the time to write nominations for this year's awards. I know the winners thank you as well for your belief in them. Finally, I appreciate all of you for coming this evening to celebrate with the Aggie Network, one that connects more than 260,000 UC Davis alumni around the world. All of our alumni award winners, or all of our alumni award winners, excuse me, bring great distinction to our university. Together, you inspire us to be better in our workplaces, in our communities, and in the world. Your stories embody the Aggie spirit of service and the mission of the university to work for the public good. Thank you all for tuning in this, uh, to this year's UC Davis Alumni Awards. We hope you enjoyed your night at the Aggies. And lastly, before we log off, don't forget the theme of our opening song, I Want You Back, performed by the UC Davis Student Acapella Group, The Lounge Lizards. We miss you all and can't wait to see you back at UC Davis soon. One, two, three, four. Ooh. 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 your love is one long sleepless night let me show you girl that i know wrong from right every street you walk on i leave tear stains on the ground following this girl i didn't even want around let me tell you now oh baby all i need is one more chance happened then and let me live